Y'all might think I'm crazy for this, but at the game tonight, I had so much fun. I, I really did. I, I obviously didn't like the outcome, but had a whole lot of fun being there. Um, got to meet a, a lot of Team Keep It Clean, like a lot. Um, and I appreciate y'all supporting. Uh, it, it, it's nice to just see so many people uh, in person. But the game... <laughs> Ooh, that was pitiful. Where do we even start? Shout out to the Dolphins, though. Shout out to the Miami Dolphins. They obviously, everybody and their moms picked the Dolphins to lose this game. And the Dolphins saw that. And same thing I always say. When you're playing a team that has nothing, nothing to play for, when they have nothing to lose, those are the most dangerous type of teams. Because they will throw it all at you. And I don't even really felt, I, I didn't even feel like the Dolphins even really threw so much at the Ravens. It wasn't like they was doing a bunch of trick plays, anything like that. No. Dolphins were just grinding it out, and they, they saw some little exploits in Ravens' defense, and they took advantage. It's crazy because this game, it reminded me of the Vikings game last week. <laughs> Except <laughs> in the Vikings game last week, the Ravens' offense actually finally woke up. But in this game, they never did. Despite getting a touchdown, that touchdown was aided so much by the refs on that drive. Um, but the, uh, this game reminded me of the Vikings game because... The Ravens were tackling, for the most part, they were tackling well. They missed a few here and there, but for the most part, they were do doing a good job tackling. But, but it was the big plays again. The big plays. And this time, they didn't counter with any scores. They didn't counter with their own big plays. But the defense, like, the, the defense in the first half, you got to give it to them. Because in the first half, I think what they held the Dolphins to six points, I believe. The defense was out on the field the whole first half. Because the offense was just not doing anything. They didn't get their first third down conversion until either late in the third quarter or early in the fourth quarter. One of those two. Um, and it, the offense in this game was just all kinds of just stale, bad, slow, um, stagnant. Uh, just what's, what's, just what's another word or, or, ex, or explanation for them not going anywhere or doing anything? Whatever word you can think of, you let me know, and you go ahead and put it in the comment section. But the offense, they were just downright bad. Bad. And the defense, whole first half, they were out on the field. But the fact that they were out on the field that whole time, and they only gave up six points, especially all the, the positions that they were put in, and they only gave up six points, even though they did give up some big plays, they only gave, gave up six points. You got, you got to give a shout-out to the defense, man. You guys, too. Even with the mishaps and the miscommunications, they, they still held them to six points. And it's, it's, it's when you, your offense is just not scoring at all. When your offense, like the first drive, they, they moved the ball a little bit. They end up coming up short. They settled for a field goal. So it was looking like, okay, they starting off a little better this week. They're start, they, they not going to start off slow. But that first drive, was a, it was just false. wasn't real. Move the ball down the field, end up kicking a field goal, thinking like, okay, offense, yeah, nope, mm -mm, nope. So it, it was just, it was ugly to watch. And it's crazy because I always say in, in close games, if you lose a close game, oof, that those sting, those losses sting. This loss does not sting at all because it was like the Ravens were not really in it for very long. They, they were just flat, straight up, just flat. And I know John Harbaugh said, oh, well, it's, it's on me. Uh, we weren't prepared and da-da-da-da-da. I saw somebody hit me up and they said, oh, well, maybe uh, I think it's because maybe they had a show a week. No, ain't no excuses, no. Show week, no, I don't want to hit none of that, no. You knew what you had to do. You knew who you were playing. You knew when you were playing them. Ain't no excuse for that, none. Zero. Zero, there's no excuses. And I, 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 don't, I haven't heard anybody say it. But nobody should say it that, oh, man, we definitely, oh, oh this, this one was definitely the injuries. No, because it wasn't. It, it ain't have nothing to do with injuries at all. Ravens just got beat straight up. They got beat by a 2-7 and seven team. I guess this is just the, um, this is just the, uh, the week over this past week and change. This has been the week for the trap games. The Bills with the Jaguars. Um, uh a little over a week ago, the, the Jets and the Bengals, um, the Giants and the Raiders. There was another one, too, that I can't think of. But this has certainly been the time for, for the trap games. 
And Ravens fell right into the trap. Right into the trap. See, this is what happens when you start off slow and you you keep starting off slow. Now, let's let's who do we even talk about first? Do we talk about Greg Roman or Lamar? Let's start with Greg Roman. I know it's gonna be a lot of people say, oh, fire Greg Roman, fire Greg Roman. And um I I I had to take a take a take a little bit to think about it. Um, but Greg Roman in this game, like, because the re the reason I say that, well, I got to take a little bit to think about it is because there's been a, a constant, there's, there's, there's been one thing that's been constant with this offense and that has been the slow starts throughout the entire season, entire season. So, and, and then you would think like, okay, offensive coordinator, that that's his fault because again, that's the offense with these slow starts. But then you think about, too, and I'm, I'm not saying fire anybody. I'm just saying just something to think about. But then you think about, man, we, we really having a problem with offense. Even though the offense, again, overall, the numbers look good because they rank like they were, before this game, I think they were like first in rushing and like ninth in passing, something like that. So the numbers overall look good. But when you look at the actual game, it's like, hold up, what is going on? And you know they're capable of so much more. It's crazy because in this game, this is the first game that Lamar Jackson had all three of his receivers, and it seemed like he didn't have any of them tonight. It seemed like none of them were out there. Um, but, but Greg Roman, and, oh, but back to what I was saying, Greg Roman, yeah, I know it's going to be a lot of people saying, oh, fire Greg Roman, but one thing that we hear so, many, so much uh, with Ravens teams, we hear fire the offensive coordinator. And we've been hearing that for years and years and years and years and years. But it's only one thing that all those offensive coordinators have in common. Just something to think about. Um, before you say fire this offensive coordinator, fire that offensive coordinator, it's just, they all have one thing and one person in common. Um, and again, I'm not saying fire anybody. I'm just, just think about that, though. But anyway, um, we, we always talk about how the Ravens, won, they run one screen a month. Just one. Um, but I think Greg Roman must have heard that. And he was like, oh, we we run one screen a month. Let me show you. And and they just they just kept throwing screens, and that was it. And, and it, it was like Ravens were on first down. They may get like one or two yards on second down to be an incompletion. And then on third down, they would throw a screen, and and it just seemed like they weren't even trying to get a first down. That's what it looked like. It looked like they weren't even trying to get a first down. What the Dolphins were doing literally all night long, they they would have they would drop four back. They would have Xavier Howard, Byron Jones, and then their two safeties. They would have those four guys drop back. And then everybody else, they would just send them. But they, they would get into Lamar all night, all night, all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. Just like the Vikings game. They would get into him all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. Then two weeks before that, the Bengals game. They would get into him all game long, all game. And again, the offensive line this year has been bad. It's been bad. They had their moments now, but they've been pretty bad. It's been a struggle. It, it, it has been. And I know people have gotten hurt. People have gotten banged up and whatnot, so they're not fully healthy. But at the same time, still, it has been all kinds of bad, man. The offensive line is just terrible. Um, so even with that... Uh, Tonight was no different. It was no different. But the play calling, it, it just didn't. I know they wanted to get the ball out of Lamar's hands quicker. Um, but they like, with them screen play, they like spam them screen. And on third down, too. I know he's had a, a tiny bit of success uh, with those screen plays on third down. But um, recently. But tonight, it was just bad. Uh, and it, it, was, it was just embarrassing, man. It was just, it was really, really embarrassing. Um, and the, just the, the lack of adjustments, no, no adjustments at all. Like throughout the whole game. Like you would think, okay, first quarter, they, they blitzing us like crazy. We trying these screenplay. We trying to get the ball out of them all hands quick. Okay, let's try something. Oh, nope, mm -mm, nope. We still keep running the same thing. Second quarter, the same thing happens again. Oh, what do we do? Oh, nope, nope. We still run the same thing. Third quarter happens, what do we do? same thing. Fourth quarter happens, what do we do? same thing. Same thing. There, there was zero adjustments in this game. And literally the only reason, the only reason that the Ravens end up getting a touchdown, the only reason 
was because of the refs. The refs actually helped the and you could tell. You could tell. Them refs probably got a call from Vegas like, hey, look, man, come, like, come on now. Like, do, do something. Do something. And that, like, that drive, <laughs> the whole drive, it was so sad because I'm going into this game thinking, oh, yeah, when I, when I talk to them, and I'm recording this, like, right after the game. It's, it's 1.28 a.m. We just got home about, like, 30, 45 minutes ago. Um, but I'm thinking, like, okay, when, when, I, when I talk to Team Keep It Clean tomorrow, man, my voice is going to be gone. It's going to be out of there. Because I'm going to be cheering and screaming and celebrating. Nope. Oh, I got my voice. I lost a tiny bit of it, but I got it. It's intact. It's just fine. It's just fine. So, yeah, it, 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 was, it was just bad. Um, Lamar, in this game, again, running for his life. Uh, he had some overthrows. Um, and, and one thing with Lamar, shout out to the guy who was sitting in front of me because we talked about this. Uh, one thing with Lamar in this game, same thing that we, we've been mentioning it this week. The Ravens, they just they only have an intermediate and a deep passing game, and that's it. That's it. Short passing game is non-existent. The check downs, Lamar don't be looking for those. He don't be looking for you guys to look for those, man. He, he found a couple of them, but overall, like, he always looking for that big shot. Always. Now, I do the same thing in Madden. Y'all know I'm greedy, though. I'm very greedy when it comes to football. But Lamar Jackson, he's a professional. I, I'm not. But you got to, seriously, you got to take more check downs. You got to take what's in front of you instead of just always trying to go for that kill shot. And, and I, I, ain't, I ain't saying don't take any shots down the field. I'm not saying that. But you got to realize, like, hey, man, this thing, this thing ain't been working. This, this has not been going down. This has not been going good. All right, let, let me take what's in front of me. Let me just, let me dump it off to this running back so I get it. Let me dump it off to the title. Let me just, but man, not a good game from Lamar tonight. And then to cap it off, end up throwing his first regular season red zone interception. I'm like, ugh. Oh. It, see, like with this, when, when games are like this, I just, when it gets to the point where you feel like the game is over and your team is going to lose, at that point, I'm like, all right, if your stats are intact, let's just let's leave them intact. But now that stats out, the, well, not necessarily out the window, but, yeah, it's out the window, that, that perfection in the red zone. That's gone now. Um, so now he's, like, got, got a 99%. Not, I, I'm not, I, this is not an exact number. This is just me saying it. But he, now he got, like, a 99.99% um, non-turnover rate in the, in the red zone. Uh, but anyway... Not a good game uh, from Lamar. And, of course, again, offensive line didn't help, but this was not Lamar's game at all. And, again, shout-out to the offense defense. Because <laughs> they, they were all over Lamar. All over, man. They covered him more than his own offensive line did. Um, talked about offensive line already. Running backs. Devontae Freeman. It just seemed like, I, I, it seemed like he, they just stopped running. It seemed like they just stopped. They tried for a little bit, but it's but they stopped. Now now going because being at the game is a lot different. You can't like look at everything the same. I would say based off of being there, I would say I feel like Devontae Freeman got about eight or nine carries. I feel like he just really didn't carry the ball that many times. And I feel like Le'Veon Bell got like three. Now let me let me look it up. Let me look it up. Cause that's how that that again, that's how I felt. But I just want to Try to confirm it to see if that's true. But bottom line, running game, they, they just they, they stopped running. All right, pulling up the box score right now. Ravens. Okay, Devontae Freeman had 10 attempts. Le Le'Veon Bell had three. Okay, so I was very, very close. I think I said I felt like Devontae Freeman had eight or nine, and Le'Veon Bell had three. Okay, so I was on point with Le'Veon, but not with Devontae, but one off. Anyway, um... And Devontae Freeman, a oh, 10 for 35 yards. Uh, he, will, he will pop. He will pop a couple. But then he just get tripped up. Um, so they just, they really didn't get it going, going. Uh, and Le'Veon Bell, he just, he, he wasn't doing anything. Um, they, they did that thing, again, that, that just frustrates me. Where they line up Patrick Ricard out wide. And I was waiting for Lamar to be like, all right, come here. 
to where Patrick Carr comes in and, and he stays as as a blocker. He he lines up next to Lamar and he stays as a as a as a pass protector, but no, he stayed out wide. And uh, it just it just frustrates me so much when they do that because I feel like you're just wasting opportunity, and they do it all the time. It is it's so frustrating. Um, Hollywood, oof, bad game tonight. Bad game tonight. Several drops. Uh, if I remember the, I would say he caught like three passes maybe. Let, let, let me let me see the box score for him. Hollywood caught. Oh, he caught six. Wow, it ain't even seem like it. Um, had 13 targets. Yeah, Lamar was throwing him the ball a lot, so he caught six for 37 yards. Wow. So he's average. That that is an average of um six point two or six point six point something yards per catch. But was not a good night from Hollywood, man. The the drops were just they 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 were bad. Um, Bateman. Uh, it was weird. Because there was one point in the game where with Rashad Bateman, he, the Ravens were down. They needed to pass the ball. Rashad Bateman was on the sideline, though. I was thinking, is he dealing with an injury or something? Because I, I didn't hear about it, but he was on the sideline. And I just, I, I didn't get it. The, this game was just, there was so much bad in this game. So much bad from so many people in this game. It was just terrible. Um, I, 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 I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. And it made no sense. Um, but he, he had a, he had a pretty, when you look at the numbers, he had a pretty decent game. When the ball went his way, nine times out of ten he caught it. He did have the one drop. I think he, uh, he just wasn't ready for it. Um, when Lamar threw it to him and he like looked, turned around at the last second and put his hands up and the ball just hit his hands and came off. Um, but he did, like, he continues putting up like decent little numbers Six catches for 80 yards. Of course, he got that long catch toward the the very end of the game, right before Lamar ended up throwing that interception. Uh, and he the, the body control on that catch was beautiful. Um, it, it was nice. Too bad it didn't go for a touchdown because it was looking like there was there, there was that one catch where where he caught it and then he made um made 21, minutes, and then he tried to make another guy miss, but he just ended up coming up short. Uh, so I was thinking he was going to get his first touchdown Like in It wasn't garbage time Because I mean it would have took a lot of craziness To to make something happen But I was thinking he was going to get his first touchdown then But didn't happen So we'll wait another week um, Mark Andrews It's crazy because You know how On, on the, the catch where The Dolphins I think challenged it And, and it got overturned to, to, to be called an incompletion On that catch Um they they didn't show us the replay. I've now I haven't been to many NFL stadiums. I've only been to Dolphins and Jaguars and and of course the Ravens. Um, but at the Jaguars they did it, and certainly at M&T Bank Stadium they did it. Where if there's a, a a challenge, then they'll show the replay on a big screen. But it was the weirdest thing for the Mark Andrews the the drop. Even though I I heard it was a catch, I didn't get to I didn't get to see the replay. But they did not show it. And I just thought that was so weird, man. I'm like, why are they not showing it to us? But anyway, um, Mark Andrews, he he got his a little bit. Um, he had a couple of uh he had a couple of nice catches. Um the exact numbers, let's see. Six catches for sixty three yards. Oh yeah, he did have that touchdown in the back of the end zone. Forgot about that. Um, but yeah, so Mark Andrews had an alright game when he got involved. But man, this game was just—it was just rough. It was, it was rough. Like look, looking at these numbers, these numbers actually make it look better than the game was. Duvernay had four catches for twenty-eight yards. I didn't even realize that. I was really thinking that Duvernay was gonna be involved big time in this game. Uh, Cause I think on the first drive they um they gave him a little jet sweep and whatnot. I'm like, oh, it's Duvernay time. They had him lined up in the backfield. I was like, oh, okay, let's go. But yeah, y'all saw how that went. Um, but it this this wow, this thing was crazy. It it, it, it was just crazy, and I um, mm, it was just like you you know how. Just because somebody has a bad day at work, it does not make them a bad player. It does not make them a bad worker. But, like, it's like everybody had a bad day at work today. 
Everybody did. That well, the whole offense did. Um, and offensive coordinators included. Everybody had a bad day at work today. So, got to bounce back. You got you got a long break now. And you need it. Ravens need it. They got a long break. So, uh, oh, yeah, they need it for sure. Um, special teams. Justin Tucker missed a field goal. And that's a field goal that Justin Tucker makes. Um, when he missed that field goal, I was like, oh, okay, wow. I was like, he really just missed that. I just, I was like, wow. I, was like, I should have known from that point on that stuff was going to be off in this game. I should have I known. Because when Justin Tucker misses field goals, everything goes haywire. Remember the last time he missed field goals was uh, in the Bills game. He missed those two field goals. Yeah, it was windy, but it's Justin Tucker. He missed the field goals. And we saw how that game went. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big yikes. Anyway, um, <sighs> Sam Cook. It, it was so sad. Uh, and I, I was thinking about it while we were doing it. But it was so sad that I'm like, I'm like jumping and screaming and yelling and screaming and shouting and celebrating. Because Sam Cook is pinning these guys like within, in, in the 10-yard line. And I'm like, man, it, 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 the game had gotten to that point. And, and, and it, it's so sad that the game had gotten to that point to where that's what we're cheering and screaming about. Then the, later on in the game, it, it, and this is how you know it's just, it just sad because I'm, I'm yelling and screaming and jumping when we're getting penalties, like called for us. Like they, they called two roughing the passes on that same drive. They called a defensive holding on the same drive. Uh, and they called pass interference to on that same drive. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm cheering for those. That's how bad the game was. That's how you know it was so bad. Like, we got to cheer for penalties. Like, cheering? Like, oh, man. Um, defense. Justin, Justin Houston, he got his 100 sacks, so congrats on that. Uh, hopefully, Jacoby Brissett is okay, though. But it's like you, you get your 100 sack, and you, it's like you can't even celebrate because the game just went so bad. The defense, again, in this game, they were asked to do so much. So it's like I, I can't even really fault them like that. But still, the, just the lapses in coverage – Another week, another game, same stuff. It's like, what is going on? What's going on? And, like, this week it was, you had Albert Wilson looking like Tyreek Hill. You had this dude looking like Tyreek Hill mixed with Jerry Rice, mixed with Randy Moore. Like, this dude was looking amazing. Jalen Waddle, you had him, like, you could, he was beating Marlon. Like, this is a rookie. This is a rookie. It's another rookie. Well, I think with, he went to Alabama, I believe. Uh... I was about to say Chase Young. Jamar Chase, he went to LSU. I mean, Mar Marlon just, oof. This was not his best night. This was not, it wasn't his worst night either, but it wasn't his best night. Um, so it, oh my goodness, just what a game. What a game. What a game. Ugh. So nasty. Um, this week, it was Albert Wilson wide open. It was um, somebody, I think 81 was wide open. Gaskin, he had a play where he was wide open. They had all these plays, like where they these big plays, with guys just running wide open, wide open. And it was like, what? Why? For what? How? And like I said, the defense, like, oh, ugh, besides the big plays, they were taking care of business. When Dolphins, same thing as last week. When Dolphins really had to grind it out, defense held on, and they held. They held tough. But they would give up them big plays. They would keep giving up them big plays. Just when you think that the Ravens were about, okay, we're about to come back, we're about to make something. Nope. Dolphins hit a big play. Somebody's wide open. Wide, like, wide open. And they made some nice contested catches, too, but guys just wide open. That's not going to get it done. It's not going to get it done. And the pressure in this game, they were getting some pressure. And I felt like with I feel like with Jacoby Brissett, it was, it was all the same stuff. I felt like it was the same stuff with Jacoby Brissett, the same stuff with Tua. It was all the same stuff because it was guys were getting wide open. I feel like Jacoby Brissett would have done this, all the same stuff that Tua was because he was already, he was already. They were doing all the same things. I feel like the quarterbacks did not make a difference at all. Because that, that's the thing. They didn't even take, I don't think Jacoby Brissett or Tua took off not once. They scrambled and moved around in the backfield a little bit, but they didn't take off once, I don't think. I don't recall. Maybe if they did, my brain is like trying to suppress it, being like, man, y'all took a beat down again. 
but I, I, I just I don't recall it. So the quarterback switch, it, it didn't even seem like it was really much of anything because all the same stuff just kept happening. Um, Lamar. Uh, oh, Sammy Watkins, because we talked about all the receivers except Sammy Watkins. And that play, I forgot what the score was at that point of the game. Lamar, I think that was a third down, too. Lamar Jackson throws it to Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins catches it, and he fumbles. And I was like, man. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a one-score game. It had to be. But he catches it, and he fumbles it. And, like, oh. and, and not only was it a fumble, but Xavier Howard, who could have been a Raven. Don't know why the deal didn't go through. I don't know the details, but a guy who could have been a Raven scoops it up, and he runs. A couple of Ravens try to tackle him. They miss, and then he starts, like, slowing down. I'm thinking, okay, he about to go out of bounds. All right, cool. But then he cuts back in, and I'm thinking, okay, uh, should the whistle have blown? Because maybe he stepped out. He didn't step out. Cuts back up, cuts back in, run, touchdown on a scooping score. And just the, the, the team, they, they didn't have any life tonight. This did not look like a 6-2 and two team going into this game. They did not look like a 6-2 and two team at all. They really didn't. Not one bit. And I know that the Ravens, they've had injuries. And I know that, oh, yeah, they've been getting off the slow starts all season long. But this this did not look like a six and two team, not one bit. They're six and three, and that's great. They still one of the the the, the, the top guys in the AFC, um, and they can obviously bounce back and whatnot. They've they've only lost three games, and that's that's something right there. But Ravens have they have some holes, man. And they've they've had holes all year, but Ravens seem to just struggle with trying to patch those holes or trying to cover up those holes and trying to really cover up those deficiencies. They seem to struggle with that big time. And I just, I don't know, man, this game... I was thinking that this this was going to be a nice little confidence booster. Not that beating the Dolphins would have you like, oh, okay, yeah, now we're for real now. Because the Dolphins were 2-7. and seven. But if you win decisively, like I was thinking, okay, that this could be a win where offense, they roll. Defense, they make some plays too. Special teams, y'all always do good. So special teams, do what, do what you've been doing. Nope. Mm-mm. Wasn't anything like that, and it was just it, it was just a terrible display. So I don't know what do, what do they do now? Oh, uh, one thing, safety play from Brandon Stevens. Uh, he and I know this is new for him, I and mean, he's a rookie. Got to keep that in mind. But the range is it just it wasn't there tonight. Um. And he's a rookie, though. So it's like he's a rookie. This is a new position for him because, again, he went from running back to cornerback to now NFL safety. It's a big change, and a lot's thrown on his plate right away. Um, but safety play has is, is, got to be better. But, again, it's a learning experience. It's a learning process. Um, but, yeah, Ravens got <laughs> they got a lot to learn, but... I don't even know where they go from here. I I I, I don't. And I'm, I'm I'm not saying that as like, oh man, the season's over, it's done. No, I, I'm not saying that. But I'm just right now. And again, the game is still kind of fresh. It was just a couple hours ago that we were there, because um, it's one forty-seven a.m. right now. Um, I'm just very very confused on what their next move should be. Um, and not even just talking, oh, should they sign this player? What coach decision should they do? Or how should they? I just, I just, right now, I just really don't know. I really don't know. Um, so, that's that. But again, I did have a good time. 
I had a really good time. I had some good curly fries, a good burger there. Really good. Um, some good Gatorade. Uh, and Gatorade in a can. I never, had, I never had Gatorade in a can before. So that was the first time for me. Um, you know something that's funny, too? Uh, I, when when the, game, the game was over, uh, one guy, he was walking up the steps. So just sitting there. He's walking up the steps. He's like, not in a mean way, like in a joking way. But you know some jokes, they got like seriousness behind them. But he was like, ah, that's why we lost. And he pointed to me. He's like, because you wore that gold jersey. And I said, oh, well, yeah, I'll take the blame for it. And something that's funny is, and I know it doesn't just happen with Ravens fans. It happens with fans of all teams. Where, where what they will do if their team loses, they'll like try to think like, man, what did I do today differently than what I normally do when we win? Did I go somewhere? Did I do something? Did I eat something? Did I think about something? Did I mess up my routine? And you got to realize that them losing has nothing to do with anything that you do. <laughs> it doesn't. I know some people, they, they want to believe that. And, and it can be fun, too. You can be like, oh, well, because I tied my shoes this way. Every time I tie my shoes this way, we win. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing. And it, it, yeah, it's, it's nice to think. And, and a lot of stuff is just coincidental. A lot of stuff is just coincidental. I used to be the same way a long time ago. I told y'all about that. I remember in, in, in 2012, the playoffs. I, um, I came, we would go watch the games at the sports bar. And I would have to have a bunch of peppermints in my right pocket. And I felt like, oh, man, if, if I don't got the peppermints, then it, it's going to be bad. So I think it was during the Broncos game. Maybe I didn't have the peppermints. I didn't have as much. So then I went and found some and, and put, some, put them in there. And I, I really thought that. I was like, oh, uh, yeah, it's the peppermints. It wasn't the peppermints. It wasn't the peppermints at all. Um, so it, it's, it's just funny seeing when people, like, they really feel like, they have something to do with why their team wins or why their team loses. Um, nothing wrong with supporting your team, of course. Supporting guys that you root for. And da, 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 da. But don't, bl especially when losing, don't, don't blame yourself for the loss because you will drive yourself crazy. Don't blame yourself for the loss. It has nothing to do with you. Just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, like I said, tonight was a, a whole lot of fun. It was a whole lot of fun. I loved it. I had again minus the outcome of the game, but I love how um, where we were sitting at. Man, section one eighty. I loved it. I loved the seats. They were great. It didn't rain. Some more positive. Like they gave us these um these little wristbands to this uh Lexus sideline something, and it was just like this little cool little lounge like. Right, and, and it would be nice, like, if it started raining or something like crazy, you could just go there and you could just chill. You could watch the game from there. Because they had a bunch of TVs and stuff and all that. They, they, had, they had, it was like a little restaurant down there. They had drinks, they had food. It was like, oh, man, I'm loving this. Feeling a little fancy, man. I ain't no fancy dude. Y'all know that. Um, oh, I did get to wear these. I hadn't, hadn't wore these in a, in a long time. Got to bring these back out. I, do, I feel like my foot got fatter, though, because when I first tried to put them on, I said, whoa, I had to untie the shoestring, and um, I had to untie the shoestring and, and, and do it over again. But, no, nah, man, like I said, I, I had a really, really good time. Really, really good time. So much fun. Um, what made tonight better was that the people that we were actually sitting next to, uh, they left a little before halftime. And I was, I was telling my wife, I'm like, man, this is perfect. There's nobody by us. But... And they never came back. And I was like, oh, let's go. They never, I was expecting them to come back, but they never came back. Um, and they were a cool couple. They were, they were cool. They were cool. Uh, so, yeah, man, it, that, that was that. So, shout out to everybody from Team Keep It Clean that showed up to the game. I know there was, there was a lot of y'all I didn't get to see. Um, I just, it, it was just crazy. I, I thought that. I was going to end up tailgating. Like tonight, I, I thought it was going to be a little cold outside. I thought it might have a chance to rain. So I wore this hoodie under this jersey. And boy, I was like sweating all night. My, my face was glistening. I mean, I'm sure it's been glistening throughout this video. Um, so yeah, but again, fun night. I, I do not I know that some people that's like, oh man, well, I'm glad I didn't go to the game since the Ravens got whooped like that. No, nah, I ain't like that. I'm, I'm glad that we went to the game. I'm, I'm very glad. I do not regret it at all. I'm glad we went to the game because I had a lot of fun. 
met my guy. I met I met my guy. Oh, I forget his name. My apologies. I met my guy from uh from London. He came over from London, and I'm I'm sure he he probably thinking that that thing. Like I said, when some people will blame themselves. They're like, oh no, it's my fault. It's not your fault. Trust. If you're thinking that, it's not your fault. Don't don't think it's your fault. But he's saying that the last game that he went to was the Ravens and Jaguars game over there in London, where the Jaguars won like what forty four to six or whatever the score was. He's like, that's the last game that he went to. And then to come over from London to, to see this, it's like, oh, man. Like, he, I, I'm sure he probably, it probably crossed his mind. Like, oh, man, is it me? Don't worry, my friend. It's not you. It's not you at all. Um, one of my guys, he came, he came through with, uh, with his daughter. Um, even though they look like, to me, they look like brother and sister. I'm like, that, that's your daughter? That, like, he looks so young. She looks so young. Um, but he uh, came from Arizona. I said, "Whoa, Arizona! Oh, shout out to my guy John Moore came through." Um, but yeah, it, was, it was a lot of people, a, a, a lot of people. So I, I, I again appreciate y'all. Thank you all for listening. Um, thank you all for for rocking with us. And it, this it, this is a fun game. It was a really fun game. Again, outcome sucked. But game, I mean, the, the experience, it was, it was great. Would have been better with a win, but it was great, and I loved it. So I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And like the Ravens were throughout all four quarters, like their offense was, we out.